You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm doing a video, I think. Did you see her press conference the other day from the WNBA All Star game? Was it about she was amazed at how well she plays? She's playing now or something? Whatever was it was about. And I didn't really even pay attention to what she was saying so much as her voice. Holy shit, dude. Why don't you just you're, bring it up now? Let's let's see it, man. Try, you're trying to convince me that she's she's. I, I mean, let me see. Yeah, see if you can bring it up, man. Because uh, I know that I, she was talking about how well she's playing. Her team is next to last in the WNBA. I almost well, did that. I was like, oh no, there's enough it, on that. It well, it that wasn't the the main driving force around the video that I was going to do. The main driving force, and there was an audio, uh, 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 an article written because she's back in the news now over transgender rumors. Okay, and I wasn't even gonna, I, I, I wasn't even gonna bring this up during the stream, but just far as things that can't convince you of, listen to her. No, nah, it really was. Um, like I said, I, I'm just happy to be here in this building. Um, all Stars, just a it's a fun time that you know we get to all be together. Um, you really get to learn everybody's personality, and I mean what you see on the court is fun. But I mean in the locker room, you know, a couple of hours, three hours, four hours before the game, five hours before the game. Um, <laughs> it's uh, that's where all the the little moments that you take away always happen. That's what I always look forward to. And then just being here with them after everything that they did to support me through, you know. One of the toughest times. Um, it just means everything to be right here. Is that a chick? Is that a chick? Anybody? Well, Rhodes. I, I mean, look, look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Look this. at the chat right now. Look at the I, chat. I'm gonna I mean, say this. I'm gonna say come this, Rhodes. Oh, stop. They made a big deal about her dunking in the uh, the WNBA All Star game. How tall is Brittany Griner? She's six nine or something. Six like nine. That. Um, yeah, you better build the she, duck. She it. struggled. No, she was she was kind of struggling to uh, dunk. Now she's dunked before, but when you actually see her try to dunk in that ESPN clip out there of her <laughs> attempting to dunk in Minson, that kind of tells you Brittany Ground is most like a woman. Now, I'm gonna say this though. Look, look, hey, just I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, whoa, that's a dude. I <laughs> but mean, the thing is, that's a dude. His, his so thing this goes. dude plays that. I mean, come on now. Bro, bro. He's he's not a uh, bro. Like, like, I, wow. I mean, dude, I didn't even, <laughs> I mean, come on now. I was, I didn't, I brought up in what sparked this, there was an article about, um, and it's not even like this one of these main places we would find, but it says Brittany Griner gets caught up in transgender rumors again after she goes viral for deep voice during WNBA week. Yeah, I mean, uh, dude, South. I mean, but don't hell, you think Rhodes? No. Don't you think Rhodes? If she's averaging nineteen points a game, <laughs> if you got. A man, a real man to actually go into the WNBA, how many points would they average? Yeah, you got a point there. Yeah. They drop like they drop I mean, like 60, 62. 60 yeah. a game, easily. Now, yeah. let me ask you this here, man, because you know the, um, I believe it's <laughs> South African uh, runner, um, Samaya, I believe. You remember the runner where they actually made her take a um, gender or sex identity test? Because the testosterone was coming up uh, higher, and yeah, 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 you 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 know what actually she is, right? She's actually intersex, so additional what? Cr chromosome. What? what 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 does that mean? Basically, has um, sets organs of a male and a woman, and they her tried to make her yeah, yeah. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is is that not technically is, is that not politically correct now? Hermaphrodite or yeah, you not yeah, yeah. To say that? Yeah. But the thing is, remember they tried to make her take 
hormone suppressants. Oh my God, dude, Dennis Rodman should. Dude. Should... dude. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, dude, I can't blame this chat. I can't blame this yeah. chat for this. I mean, Dennis yo. Rodman is 62, man. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I want to get serious though on this though. Samaya, I, uh, Samaya, I believe that's the way you pronounce her name. Came out as intersex. They're trying to make her take testosterone suppressant to actually run, but her natural testosterone is like that. Do you do you think she should be taking something to suppress her own natural testosterone? Even if she, I mean she's. If yeah, Intercept. if she if she's if she is if she's producing testosterone at a rate higher than you know a normal female, then hell yeah, she ought to have to re reduce. She's got now it's, a, it's some natural kind of a, testosterone too. I mean that's uncharted territory right there. It's not a transgender thing, <laughs> right there. That's what I'm asking. I mean, you're flipping a coin to decide what to do. I, I mean, what do you do with that? You can't. <laughs> the WNBA is, they're announcing their all new hermaphrodite league. <laughs> and we, we found a place where Brittany Grider qualifies. <laughs> That's dude. I mean, honestly, I saw that because I, I was like, you know, am I going to make a video on that? Because, and then I went over and I listened to the, to the press conference and I was like, are you shitting me right now? <laughs> I mean, I was, I, I, I just almost fell out of my chair. And what do you think about that? Do you think Dennis Rodman should go jump in the WNBA now? Um, Dennis Rodman is 62. Even at 62. Well, when was the last time he even played? I don't even know what he's doing, but still Dennis Rodman still looks roughly the same as when he played. He would still beat up these girls. I mean, it's kind of like um, those um, older male soccer players just demolish. Um, was it the U.S.? It wasn't the USWNT, right? I remember in soccer, they got demolished by like 12 to nothing by older men. Oh, yeah. They were all like re yeah. retired, like been retired 10 years, that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 They got Dennis beat by some high school kids. Yeah. Now, Dennis Rodman wasn't an offensive player. But Dennis Rodman, if you brought him to the WNBA, he probably averaged 20 when his career averages like, what, five in the NBA? <laughs> yeah. That, that's a Tucker. Yeah. Not a Carlson, uh, but a Tucker. You may, yeah. be right, you may be right about that. Yeah. I, look, I don't think anybody, as far as the WNBA goes, everybody knows Brittany Griner is like the best player in the league or was or whatever. I mean, I don't think anybody's confused about that. I mean, she was dominant for, I mean, hell, she's still having like the second best season of ever, anybody in the league right now. And she was locked up in Russia for crying yeah. out loud. But she has no impact. Her team stinks. They're like well, second from the bottom. That's well, and that's the whole point. I mean, nobody gives a, people are literally more interested in whether or not Brittany Griner is tucking than the actual basketball that's happening on the court. Yeah. And somebody has the un unmitigated nerve, the gall to suggest anybody would ever want a second women's basketball league. Yeah. What? Because the, the women, two women in the WNBA starting, starting one because they know they failed. No money. There's no money in the WNBA. It's I put it's up like, I put up a video yesterday, Rhodes, because you know these uh, women always are uh, preaching victimhood, right? In my video, I talked about how the NBA was dead in the 1970s. One of the average attendance, eight thousand people. The television ratings sucked. I mean, they were bad for the 70s. NBA Finals on tape delay. Nobody yeah, wanted to watch I remember. it. Yeah. Then what happened? Magic and Larry fell out of heaven to the NBA and turned and the he whole took off. Yeah. Michael Jordan comes on five years later 
and it just skyrockets to an all time high. That's well, what the WNBA needs to do. It but does not, they're more concerned it, about politics. It does not help. And the NBA is suffering from this too. It does not help that your biggest stars are some of the most unlikable people yes. on the face of the planet. Everybody loved Magic and loved Larry and loved Charles and loved, you know, everybody Michael. remembers Stockton and Malone and yeah. Michael and Remember, Scotty. Michael Jordan, and, Michael Jordan was fight, facing pressure to get involved in politics. And he said, no, no, I'm here to play basketball. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.